Hello folks, uh, I hope you are all safe and I have the pleasure to tell you that we have the results of the Golden Lala Awards 2020 ready for you. It was really a very hard task for the jury as we got tens of competitors from all over the world and all of them, I mean all of you, uh, were very good to tell the truth. So to choose between 70 something competitors, which all are very good, is really a nearly impossible task. So what we have is a kind of a, approximate result. The jury has decided to award you with the three main awards and three equal honorary mentions. So let's start getting to know the three honorary mentions which are equal. We give them to you in a random order. Enjoy. Hello, my name is Kyle Vanderberg and I'm a composer and sound artist living in Fargo, North Dakota in the United States. I write both acoustic and electronic music, but the thread that runs through both of these for me is the idea of storytelling. I love plot, and I love narrative, and I love trajectory, and I especially love telling stories through placing sounds, familiar sounds especially, in unfamiliar contexts. Uh, for example, in some of my music I explore a, a tea kettle that turns into a thunderstorm. And also back. In another piece, I take a train and turn it into a garden sprinkler. And in the case of Creatures from the Black Bassoon, I turn bassoon sounds into a sort of imaginary zoo. My interest in storytelling is because listening to music is such a social experience. Uh, we not only listen to music, we talk to others about the music we've listened to. And what I love about writing electroacoustic music is the same sounds that I record and use in Fargo uh, can be understood by someone anywhere else in the world, whether that is in Buenos Aires or London or Poznan. In terms of how I write electroacoustic music, uh, of course I start out with a story being, you know, how important that is to me, but I usually try to narrow myself even further, and often I will try to use material that I recorded that is either from a single sound source or from a single uh, recording event, and sometimes that is, for example, in Creatures from the Black Bassoon, that is just bassoon sounds. In Tempest in a Tea Kettle, I use tea kettle sounds and, of course, thunderstorm and water sounds. In my recent work, Tape Piece, I used the sounds of scotch tape, masking tape, duct tape, and so on. And I start out from a very small place and I try to limit myself as much as possible and see how many sounds that I can get from a single sound source, whether that is, for example, a bassoon, which is capable of many, many, many sounds, or an egg timer, which only has two. And from there, I try to figure out what story I can tell with those materials. In the case of the egg timer, there's not a whole lot that you can do with just and. Obviously, in that case, that requires a lot of processing. And so once I have a library of sounds built up, I start trying to put them together and figure out what, what are these sounds trying to say to me? What sort of 
uh, what sort of plot can I can I plot these out on? What sort of characters have I created or what sort of events have I created uh, in this timeline? One of the things that I love about writing electroacoustic music is that it can be more specific in some ways than acoustic music. In acoustic music, if I write a G major chord, uh, that's going to mean something to one listener and something else to another and so on. But if I use a train sound, that's going to mainly mean the same thing to most people in terms of the object that this sound represents. However, the nostalgia, the memory, the history is going to be different for each uh, individual listener. And so even though I'm telling a more specific story, it is still flavored by the listener's past experiences. And that's, this allows me to tell a different story than a purely, uh, a purely acoustic work. Hello to Golden Lala Awards group and thanks for your announcement and uh, I appreciate the jury's decision. I met in Habibian, to, uh, to a 26-year-old composer from Tehran, Iran. Uh, I started learning music when I was 13, 14 by playing uh, piano and guitar. Uh, but I almost am a self-taught composer without any academic experience. In those years I started work with some uh, amateur softwares uh, like Nancy J Hip Hop 5, I remember, and tried to uh, make something that made me wow for hours and hours. And I wanted to make something new, a new genre, a new creation. Uh, mix what my culture has given to me with uh, what I learned from classic world and sounds and music of the world. Gradually I started work with uh, FL, FL Studio and Cubase and so on. And after that I chose what I want and which way is my way. I worked and practiced days after days on producing, composing, arranging, mixing and mastering. Uh, now I'm a score composer, uh, theater and film composer especially. I started composing a score from uh, score music from seven years ago when I entered the, the theater. I was an actor too and uh, the way I drowned into the atmospheres and learned how to feel it, how to touch it, how to make it. Uh, music and theater uh, make you feel alive and uh, the miracles of the history, the history of humanity. Uh, the humanity is trying its best to portray his own age and what I think is it can be uh, done with electronic music and it has been successful. Giovanni Giorgio once became uh, acquainted with a synthesizer and says to himself that he is the sound of the future and uh, yes now it's uh, the future, uh, but it's not about synthesizer alone, and it will not make sense on its own. Uh, electronic music can be very misleading, just like a, a white canvas uh, uh, where a painter can make a two-point uh, touch and ta ta, and everybody uh, say that uh, oh, what an Po but a postmodern art and uh, postmodern whatever it is uh, I think it is nothing it should not be forgotten that electronic music is a world of science the world of physics and concept and in my opinion the best uh, criterion for measuring electronic music is uh, its understanding and the image it can create for you and it's not separate from concept and consciousness. Uh, the past is the best place to build the future. 
I prefer to take electronic music out of the heart of my classical lessons. There is a fine line between electronic music uh, being a masterpiece or being a nothing. Uh, the most important thing that remains is the concept. As soon as you use a synthesizer, uh, it first tells you a lot about humanity. I know the electronic music uh, full of atmosphere. Uh, the first time I made music for my first professional theater uh, project, I realized I could immerse myself in the theater and swim in this volume of atmosphere. I am still amazed when I listen to my first piece of theater score. Uh, that's where my discovery began in electronic music. And I just wanted to create and understand the sounds. And to convey everything that goes though uh, through my mind to others and let uh, others listen and tell uh, tell me about it. There is the quality of my the quality of music and uh, an artwork, uh, of course, that increases the weight of your work and allows you to travel to the minds. People should not have additional explanations for their works uh, because a composer says everything in the work that needs to be said. Uh, but the only thing I can say about the experiment uh, is I played this age which I live and that's my life. That's me. Uh, stay safe and good luck. And again, I appreciate from your uh, awards. Hello Steve Babaji, how are you doing? We are a second hand picnic. We come from Poland, which is a part of India really. And we just want to join the motherland as soon as possible. We have been doing electronic music in New Delhi, in Kolkata, and all over India and in Warsaw, which is the western part of India. And we have been doing Ginsberg and Kigari Snyder and Jack Kerouac. Yeah. Come on. So, Om Namah Shivaya. And best greetings to all you idiots. And stay safe and pray every day. Om Namah Shivaya. Okay. These were our honorary mentions. And now it's time for the second runner. I believe the power of art in general, and music in particular, is to offer comfort, amuse and delight, to stimulate thoughts and discussion, to steer and influence, to excite and to harass, to touch the soul. physical world as fine as music, said the Ramban, which is the music that succeeds in the absence of words 
to translate soul experiences and communicate with one another. This is a moment in common in which the composer, the performer and the listener shed the automatic cover of the race of life and connect with a sincere movement of the soul. electronic music genre is a wonderful world. The richness of the sound expands significantly. The use of technological means develops new directions of thinking of treating the materials and leads to unique results. I enjoy experimenting with different musical styles, modality alongside surrealism, neo-baroque alongside cantorialism, jazz alongside latino, pop, folk, east, west, and more. All of these are absorbed inside me and blend into the music in my own language. Music for me is a fascinating world, surprising, funny and melancholy, full of inspiration, color and imagination. A world in which I experience adventure, daring along borders, disappointment and achievement. I hope that by listening to my music you will experience those moments of breathing of the spirit and the soul. Hi guys, uh, it's Kubauka from Blair for a project. Uh, thanks for noticing my track. Uh, you wanted me to record a video about how I do electronic music and why I'm doing it. So I try to explain. <laughs> it's not that easy. Uh, you know. Technically, I started to do uh, electronic sounds somewhere in the middle of the 90s and you know it was only a, a play a game for me, you know, I borrowed a small keyboard from my friend, uh, I don't know, I just put some effects, some distortion flanger on it, so when I started to record, you know, on the tape recorder some, some things. Uh, <clears throat> and then, you know, I've been listening to some industrial records things and just like, you know, I, uh, the, the Nine Inch Nails albums and all this stuff. And I wanted to learn how to do this kind of music. So, you know, I bought some first synthesizers and something like this. And technically, I think I've been doing 
the, the true electronic sounds I've been doing since like, I don't know, 18 years or so, you know, when I recorded my first uh, EP as uh, Blair Foray, it was double EP, I, I think then, uh, 1851, 1851 and um, 1581, it was, it was titled this thing. Uh, well, if you ask me why I'm doing the electronic sounds, well, you know, nowadays I record uh, less uh, electronic stuff for myself and I'm just recording it more for other people as a producer and as a composer. And I think that, you know, before that uh, I was just a guitarist, you know, and I was playing in bands and all this stuff and I was just like, you know, <clears throat> I was choking because of the not that much of the possibilities uh, as with, with sound that I have with the electronic instruments. So I think that I'm not doing that much electronic music as I'm just using the electronic devices because they just give me some freedom, you know. Uh, when you are asking me how am I doing it, it just depends on the situation because, you know, sometimes I'm doing it uh, in the box and sometimes I'm doing it outside the box. Uh, you know, I have some very old synthesizers that I, I really use uh, almost each day. It's the uh, Nord 2, the, the old version with the 16-bit. And the, I don't know, the Novation bus station, the, the, the super bus station with the FX. Uh, generally some Waldorf, um, I had some Dave Smith instruments and I really, I had all, all, all all kind of stuff in the in the you know in the past. Uh, now I'm doing it, I think, more in the box, just like just like everybody. And well, what else can I say about doing my electronic stuff? I think that, as I said before, it's just about the freedom because you know with the electronic devices, I just can you know create any space that I really like, that I love, and I think that that's all. So. You know, here is my <coughs> working space, it's just like, you know, some preamps, some synthesizers, you know, just like, you know, the, the laptop, the, uh, just like, you know, the keyboard, and I think that this is all. Uh, I'm really happy that you noticed my track, because really this is the historical moment for me, because I didn't record any, any LP as Blair, Blair Foray, well, since, I don't know, 2008, so it's like, you know, 12 years ago, because from this time I was just like, you know, really mostly composing and producing music, so I'm just like, you know, doing music every day. Uh, and now, you know, I just uh, decided to record the new record and I just uh, sent it to the contest, so I'm just really happy that, you know, that you noticed me. So. Thank you and I guess see you soon, bye. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for our winner. Hi everyone, my name is Diego Ratto. I was born in Italy in 1988. Now I live in Stockholm where I moved three years ago to study my master's degree in electroacoustic composition at the Royal College of Music. It's been a great experience because the school here is great and there is this great concert hall for electroacoustic music, electronic music, as you can see in the picture. There is this uh, loudspeakers array, which it's a great full immersion experience. Before I studied in Italy at the Music Conservatory Antonio Vivaldi. There I studied uh, my bachelor's degree in jazz guitar because I play guitar since forever <laughs> when I was a kid. Of course, I started as like a rock guitarist playing like classical rock tunes. And then I moved into jazz 
But then at the same time, when I was there, I, were, I realized that I was really interested in composition, especially electroacoustic music, electronic music. So I started my bachelor also in that field. And uh, yeah, and now I'm here in Stockholm. And what I'm interested in is to record sounds and create my own libraries. For example, I always go around with my Zoom H6 to record sounds or um, sound field. For example, in this picture, I'm uh, at the Hudson Yards in New York, where, you, where there is this kind of great uh, soundscape to record. It's a great place. And uh, in this other picture, I'm in uh, uh, a old villa in the countryside in Italy, where I found this destroyed piano. It was great like to find out this. It was like in the middle of, I don't know, all old stuff. And uh, I found this and uh, I sampled that and it, it's great. And uh, or I just, uh, for example, here I go in the nature and to record, uh, do, do feel the recording like it's full of nature here. So it's crazy. So that's what I like because I feel like I am more connected to sounds I record myself and uh, I don't depend from other libraries and uh, I kind of, uh, I mean, my aim is to reach my own sound and with my aesthetic and uh, I'm interested in uh, especially in the to research uh, on about uh, electroacoustic orchestration so how to organize sounds in a vertical sense uh, of course in time but also in a vertical way so that's my research since I since my bachelor master and uh, yeah I mean very interested in like to organize organize sounds uh, as they uh, were an orchestra action. So I'm super glad to, to be part of this uh, contest and uh, I thank all you uh, at the Pliroma Records, everyone. I hope you are all safe and uh, it's not a really easy moment here, but hopefully we're gonna get through and uh, yeah, come back to normal. Um, so again, uh, thank you all and Bye, hope you, hopefully we are gonna meet one day in person. Bye bye. Thank you for being with us and thank you for the great music you sent and you do, which is even more important. Because the most important thing is that you do electronic music and you search within the realm of electronic music and your search is very interesting is extremely interesting keep up the good work thank you bye